Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you'd have seen my last clip from my channel, which was all about the Garnier Ultimate Blends hair food. And that one was the banana and shea. So I wanted to really hold off from giving a full opinion on whether or not the product was really good or whether or not it was bad. And I came to kind of a general kind of sort of consensus that between myself and my other members of my family and my family at home who have tried the product out, that it was just good. I was quite disappointed with it, to be honest with you, how it left my hair, how it was feeling. So what I've done is because there's so much about this product at the moment, these Garnier Ultimate Blends hair food products, um, there's so many fantastic reviews online, so many good reviews pretty much everywhere you look, and it's a big product at the moment. And for me, I really wanted to kind of hold off and, and until I tried another one from the range and I thought that after I tried two that would be a fair a fair amount um, of kind of a review to be able to then give a full sort of opinion on it. So the banana and shea, the product we're talking about is the ranges by the Gunny Ultimate Blends Hair Food. Today we're going to be looking at the coconut and macadamia and Last time I looked at the banana and shea, which to be honest with you, I was rather disappointed. However, it was a good product, but nothing more than good. And simply just because, yes, it had an incredible smell, absolutely beautiful smell, but didn't really do anything for my hair. In fact, actually, it left my hair feeling very, very flat, very, very heavy, quite a cakey texture. And I actually had to end up using more styling products just to be able to get the hair, my hair how I wanted it to be. So I thought to myself, all of these good reviews cannot just be based on, surely, my unfortunate sort of experience or perhaps my hair type. So I thought I must try it again, must try another one to give it a fair review. Um, absolutely love the Garnier Ultimate Ranges with the shampoos, the conditioners, um, really, really like them. And I really thought that these treatments would be really, really nice to try. Now, you may think, why would a man want to use a product like this? Everybody is looking for the best hair quality possible, aren't they? We do a lot with our hair nowadays in terms of straightening, in terms of using blow dryers, in terms of using so many different products to get the looks we need. Like, for example, today, a very voluminous sort of look, that 1920s uh, slick back look I very often have uses a lot of product today's look the 1950s inspired pompadour look uses a lot of uh, a lot of heat in terms of the blow drying so there's different sprays waxes pomades hairsprays it all takes a toll on your hair and what I always say if you imagine wearing a white t-shirt for 365 days a year washing it drying ironing it after a while it shows wear so you have to really look after your hair whether you're a man or a woman and you see a product like this absolutely give it a try in terms of helping your hair be as healthy and as luscious and as shiny and as healthy as possible in terms of well finding a good balance between good scalp health and good hair health as well so this product let's go straight into this one now so banana and shea no not for me wouldn't use it again however it was just a good product nothing more than good but however i would have to say let's jump into this one this one is coconut and macadamia first things first the smell. So I've used this a handful of times um, and I said that I wouldn't review it until I've used it a bunch of times more. So I've used it since I've last used it three times more and I've got quite a lot of the product left. I haven't, I don't cake loads of it in my hair at all. Um, but you know what? I imagine this product would last someone quite a long time because a lot goes a long way because I find them quite heavy. Well, after you've washed them off straight away, whatever the one I've used, whether this coconut or macadamia and then the banana and shea, Straight away, I find them very, very heavy. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. Um, but after using this on my hair, my hair feels very flat, very heavy. And you can really tell, like I've had almost like a very fatty product in my hair. And I know that sounds really, really strange, but like if you've had damaged hair and you and you put a mask treatment in your hair, then you can tell there's oils in there. You can tell there's real fatty products in there, real fatty natural oils, which really, really help damaged hair. But for just normal, fine textured hair, it's very, very heavy heavy, very cakey, and leaves a residue in the hair. So unfortunately, as well as the banana and shea, the coconut and macadamia does that, unfortunately, on my hair. It makes it feel very heavy, very flat. And again, unfortunately, really, really rather difficult to actually get the style I want. Um, if I was going to do a style like what I've got today, it would not be this type of conditioner or treatment I would be using because it really does take a lot more styling product for me to get the hair, um, my hair into the style which I want. For me, I think ultimately, if you've got really, really processed hair or really, really dry, damaged hair, these types of products would be for you. I think if you've got fine, normal hair, 
I wouldn't really recommend them. There is a normal aloe vera one, um, which in the Rangers one, I know there's a, a coloured one for coloured hair as well. But to be honest with you, after trying the two of the hair food products from the Ghana Ultimate Blends range, I'm not going to be trying any more. That's the most I really want to be investing in these products because it's something we're just sitting in our family bathroom. My mum's tried them. Um, I believe my brothers, I uh, two of my brothers have tried them as well. One with curly hair, one with fine straight hair like myself, but rather a lot of it. And we've all kind of come to a consensus that the product is really amazing smelling. Absolutely, an amazing, amazing smell. So the coconut and the macadamia in here, you can really get that coming through in this product. And you think that it's going to be an amazing product in terms of the smell. And that is great. I would give them certainly 10 out of 10 for the product in sense of smell, in sense of quality. Amazing. Packaging, really, really classy. And I always say these look like a fresh food product. You would you wouldn't this would not be out of place in a fresh food aisle in fridges, would it at all? Um so it looks really, really cool. The packaging really looks smart, really eye-catching, certainly a really great product. The quality of the packaging, amazing as well. Um and what I really, really like about the Garnier Ultimate Blends range is, and I mentioned this on the Banana and Shea one on the back here, it's got the Ultimate Blends Promise. So sourced from nature, blended with love by Garnier since 1982. Ultimate Blends promises to be good to your hair and to the world we live in. Factory committed to 60% less CO2 emissions by 2020. And then uh, Terra Cycle, so hair food packaging is recyclable through some local councils and through Terra Cycle at terracycle.co.uk. I really, really love products which are really responsible in how they manage manage their packaging, how they manage to get their ingredients, where the ingredients are derived from. And I really, really love having products which I know are responsibly sourced, responsibly made, and then afterwards, of course, responsibly disposed of. I really want to know that the, the packaging isn't left in the world for me, for my children's children's children. Um, and yeah, really, really that's important to me. So I really love the way that Gunny Ultimate Blends have that on their packaging. But unfortunately, it's just the product itself, which of course is the main huge thing. It leaves my hair very difficult to manage, actually. Um, and in terms of how fantastic the smell is, how it leaves my hair, it, I would expect it to be really soft, really natural feeling, really sort of really lovely to touch. But it doesn't. It makes my hair feel really cakey as I've had a real heavy, dense product in it. Um, and really just generally okay, not amazingly nice not amazingly smooth um just yeah a bit much bit heavy bit cakey in fact something which i really don't enjoy the feel afterwards of the product and i've tried this relieving on my hair several minutes to up to about 10 15 minutes and slightly longer as well and i've had the same same effect um so let's just go if you haven't seen my banana and shea hair food uh, review you can use these hair food products in three ways so the first way you can use it as a conditioner on wet hair so to instantly smooth and detangle hair without weighing it down i've used it as just a conditioner and then washing it out my mum has as well who has uh, very very long fine but has a lot of hair very very long hair i believe now even near uh, not not far off her waist actually um and it's colored this did not do anything for her hair at all my other brother has who's in the family home has a uh, very very super tight curly hair this not at all not really and then my twin brother who has short spiky hair not at all um and yeah just an okay product an okay product the condition is for me um by far much much better than this much much better and the shampoos as well for example the sensitive i believe is it uh rice i think it's rice milk and cotton cream something along those sort of lines it's sensitive soothing for the scalp absolutely love that from the guy ultimate blends range shampoo conditioner really really soothing really really nice on the scalp and makes the hair have a lot more volume it really really does help and it's a very lovely product to use again some of the ones for the uh the maple for damaged hair really really lovely as well um this just good at the very very most just good um what I find quite amusing on here as well, because it does smell so good, it says on the back here, do not ingest. So as I say, it would not look out of place in a fresh food aisle or in refrigerators or anything like that at all. It says do not ingest. And on the back here, it says keep out of reach of young children without supervision. So yeah, really, really important. What I would say as well, these products smell so good. Always make sure that you never have them near or close to a child. Absolutely. And it says here, which is really, really very good as well. Yes, 98% natural origin ingredients. Our formula is made from 98% natural origin ingredients. The remaining 2% ensure good preservation which is fantastic as well it's just ultimately I do not believe that you should be saying that these products are for for example this one says three-in-one hair mask for frizzy and unruly hair 
I think for frizzy and rawly hair, no. Super, super dry processed hair, this would be good for. You'd have to have quite thick hair, I think, as well, because if you had fine textured hair, and I have fine textured hair and I have a lot of it, so if you had super thin hair, which of course, let's not be silly, super thin hair can still look beautiful, it can still look really, really nice. On a woman, thin hair can still look really lovely. On a man, thin hair can still look really trendy and really, really cool. Put a product on it like this, you'd end up with hair stuck to your head, to be honest with you, after it's washed off. It sits really, really heavy. So not a product which I would really recommend for thin-haired people like myself. If you have a lot of hair, fine hair, um, it can still look really great. Using a product like this would make it look really heavy, really cakey. So not something I would recommend. Um, what I also do like about the product, I'm trying to think of benefits here as well, because there are benefits. For some people, this is going to be absolutely incredible. For me, it's, it doesn't agree with my hair. Um, and I really don't see any benefit from it. But what I like about um, the examples of the sources, I don't know if you can see here, this is a whole list of scientific ingredients inside. This here by the side is broken down, sort of, I say, in everyday speak. So you know the product straight off. So example, it says examples of sources. So purified water, botanical origin, and then it's got the scientific uh, ingredients by the side. Now by the side, it's got macadamia, soybean, sunflower, jojoba oil, almond, coconut, and then it's got some other products which is from Botanical Origin, so it's natural, and then we've got Botanical Origin another three times as well, so we know that they've really tried to get natural ingredients in here as well, which is fantastic, and as I say, if you've got really super dry, super thick, processed hair, say you've coloured the hell out of your hair, it looks great, you love colouring your hair, you love using your heated, heated appliances, but your hair's perhaps got a bit dull, looks really, really dry, fragile, these type of products would be for you. I don't believe that they would be for just the normal fine textured hair or medium hair, which is slightly dry. I think it would probably be really, really heavy for you to use, and I don't think many people would be kind of happy uh, with the effect from it. But having said that, you only have to look online, and these hair foods from Garnier Blends, uh, Ultimate Blends, Soothing Hair Food, Coconut Macadamia, this one, the normal one, the banana and shea, um, the normal one is aloe vera as well, and I'm not quite sure what is in the coloured one. I think it's jojoba oil, I'm not too sure. Um, or cranberry, I think. Don't quote me on that, please. But the, for me, I think for these type products, you'd have to have quite super thick hair, um, really quite damaged hair, because they do appear to be quite fatty, like natural oils in here. And I know that, doesn't, that isn't the best way to describe it, but you can tell it's got a lot of oils in here. And for me, I always find with certain hair textures, if you're putting a lot of oil into the hair, it's going to go against straight away any volume, any natural texture in the hair as well. So it will sit quite heavy on the scalp as well, and it will very often make your hair feel as though that you've got product in it. And I don't know about anybody else, but when you styled your hair, unless it's sort of volumizing, root lifting sprays and hairspray, the last thing I like to feel in my hair is that you've still got conditioner still in your hair, or still like you've got shampoo in your hair. Horrible feeling. It goes against having nice, natural, shiny hair. It goes against having nice, lifted sort of hair. If you've got light, quite quite sometimes see-through hair um but of course you've not lost any hair it's just the natural hair that lord gave you um the last thing you want is be putting something real heavy and dense on your hair it can still be really really great and i'm sure for some people like online there are so many five star reviews and i have to admit i'm struggling to think why but my only sort of thinking around it, if you've got super dry hair, super coloured hair, you've coloured your hair a lot, you've bleached your hair a lot, whether you're a man or a woman, then this product would probably be more beneficial to you. The three in one, so we covered that it can be used as a conditioner, I've tried that. It can be used as a mask, so on for wet hair, leave on for three minutes. I've tried it for about five minutes, about 15 and perhaps a little bit longer and anywhere in between. I've used it a whole handful of times. And to me, I don't really get much more of a benefit from it either. And as a leave-in, and this was my worst way of trying this product, as a leave-in. So on wet or dry hair, apply a small amount to legs to tame frizz and leave hair irresistibly smooth. Now I used the banana and shea when I had a straightened style and it was feeling a little bit dry, a little bit sort of drab, and I used a little bit of it whilst my hair was dry. Instantly went really, really stringy, instantly made my hair feel like I had this real sticky, cakey product in it. Did not like it, didn't make my hair soft or smooth. Um, didn't really do a lot for me at all. So I thought, because I've tried the banana and shea, I'm going to have to try this as well in my hair as dry. Done exactly the same thing. Did not like it. Halfway through the day, I ended up combing out the style which I had and slicking it back with hair gel and spray because I was busy with work. And it was aggravating me that much, it felt like I had an oily product in my hair, sort of clinging on my face. Really not very nice at all. For me, for somebody else, it might be fantastic. So 
as much as I really want to really give this an outstanding review, it, to me, again, it's no more than good. It's better than the banana in Shea. I have to admit the coconut and the macadamia seems to be a little bit more nourishing, but not hugely. So I would say better than the banana in Shea. Um, for me, again, no better than just a good product. Unfortunately, as much as it pains me to say that against Gunny Ultimate Blends, because their shampoos and conditioners, excellent, perfect product, amazing smells, amazing results from them. Hair food? No. When I think about hair food, I think to myself that it's going to give me a real vitality boost in my hair. It's going to be really nice on my scalp. It's going to be really nice in my hair. Perhaps it's going to give me some volume. Perhaps it's going to give me some natural shine. Don't really get any of that from this. Unfortunately, somebody else might. What's really great on the packaging as well here, it's vegan. So absolutely, if you're sat at home and a product's got to be vegan for you, then this will be certainly great for you to try. Um, it's 98% biodegradable formula. Amazing. Yes, it's dermatologically tested. So if you've got sensitive skin or anything, it should not give you any problems. But I would always say with a product with natural oils in, try it on a small area. First of all, try it on the back of your wrist, try it on the back of your neck, because what you don't want to be doing is keeping a product in for a long length of time. Or some people use hair masks, don't they? I know some ladies do in the hair overnight. Wouldn't be something I would need to do or even really want to do. Um, so just be careful with that. Always try first of all before. And then lastly, it says here, yes, plant oils. Plant oils can be amazing, but they can also sometimes be a little bit harsh. So just be a little bit careful with that as well, because this is a very strong smelling product. And the banana and shea one as well was. And then no silicones for a natural feel. So what does that mean? So no, silic no silicones is very similar to no sulfates. Those are the products which are put in hair care products and treatments and styling sprays, which give us that ultimate shine that ultimate sort of almost false sleek feeling um in a shampoo for example that real intense lava or in a conditioner that super glass feel on the hair it's almost that good it's not natural that's where sometimes silicones and sulfates are added to the product just to give them that boost um sometimes of course it can be great absolutely it can be but if you're using them over and over and over again it can sometimes take the natural shine of your hair it can sometimes make a bit of a product build up in your hair as well so just always be mindful of that with the products but certainly it doesn't have it in these hair foods so for me it didn't work out neither did it work out with the shea and the banana Unfortunately, the coconut and the macadamia was a little bit better, but still wouldn't be a product I'd buy again. In terms of cost, the thing what gets me with these hair foods is they can go right from literally 750 um around about 750 seven pounds, six pounds I've seen them for. Really quite expensive they can go up. Um, if you'd call that as expensive, but I'm going from a high street product, whether a supermarket, whether in boots here in the UK, superdrug here in the UK, for Gunny Ultimate Blends, their prices are really quite low. So when you see this type of product go up as much as around about £758, then it's a bit, hmm, really? It's going to be fantastic. And for the quality and for the results I've got from it, if I'd have paid that for it, I'd been a little bit annoyed. But however, they do have offers on these quite a lot, like two for eight pounds, three pounds fifty, that type of thing. They do have offers on them very often in Superdrug here in the UK, Boots, and in supermarkets as well. Um, so I would always say if you're going to try this product, hold fire until you see an offer. Don't go paying the full price for it, because I'm not so sure if you've got fine textured hair like myself, or whether you're a man or a woman. I wouldn't really say it would be for fine textured hair. For someone with super thick hair, super damaged hair, then this would be worth trying. But do you know what? Having said that, if you want to try this in your site at home and you're thinking, I really like the look of that product, it's of a good standard. I'm not going to say nothing more, but it's of a good standard. So certainly do give it a try. But for the general consensus of me and my family members, this is a good product, but it would not be something I would be buying again. OK, so now we've reviewed two. I would happily admit that it is nothing more than a good product. It's of a good standard, but it's certainly not something I would be using again in the future. Pains me to say that against Garnier Ultimate Blends because I like the shampoos and the conditioners so much. Hair food, not so much. OK, I really, really do hope you've enjoyed my clip here. And as I say, I can now come to a, a full sort of review and pin opinion on the product. And hair foods are great, but from what I've seen from this one here and the banana and shea, wouldn't be something I would really be recommending for fine textured hair or thin hair. Um, and it certainly won't be something which I'll be buying again in the future. OK, as I say, thank you very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.